so we are at a bath and body place, not bath and body, well, no, bath, not body, but a bath and shower place. Hello. And I asked to use the bathroom, and this is the toilet, so I don't know how to use it. Do I? Oh, it lifted up by itself. Oh, my, my, my. Interesting. So I'm going to use the bathroom, and I'm going to turn this off. Hang on, look at that. I'm coming. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I know. That's what I was looking at. That's huge. So this will be a plan. Oh, I don't. It doesn't swivel. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's just really hard to swivel. It just says it swivels straight down. That's weird. Oh, I like the other one better. See, there's the one that he was kind of talking about. The big oh, square. Wow. That is crazy. Kind of he's got. That's what kind of I wanted it in the bronze. That's what my mom one has. The one. And you can turn this on at the same time. See, they don't, why don't they have it into the bronze thing? You can turn these on at the same time. I don't know. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said that last no, night. <laughs> He's like, well, I could just rip the whole thing out and put you in a air claw tub. Wow. Oh my goodness, this one has the degrees on it. Shower degrees. Or maybe your water temperature. Right, water temperature. Wow. Crazy. So, was someone like to come help us? Is that how they do that? Huh. Wow. <laughs> Lots of pretty. So that's Delta. That's your like normal stuff that you can buy at Lowe's Delta, but not that stuff at Lowe's. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Look at this one. Oh, that's right yeah. Oh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Uh -huh. Yeah, the way it rolls off there. Wow. Pretty. Yeah, I don't like that one. The dope one there. See, this one comes with like a bar where you put your towels and stuff, or a bar well, that you hold that, on to. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. So you can position it where you want it. Right. Oh, look at the seashell. Hmm. Cool. There's, that's gold. Ooh, look at that copper. That's pretty. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is, look at that. Mm -hmm. Love that sink. Copper. What? I love that they don't like tell you the prices. Yep. Ooh. Nice. I like that. Hmm. I like that too. Mmm. Fancy, fancy. That is like mm -hmm. really pretty. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's like the built more pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep, well, that's cracked. No, that's bothering me. Is, is mine gonna crack? No. no look at that. Yeah. It probably was this piece or something when they. No, I'll have to ask about that. Oh, there's our... it in. Yep, that's it. That's gonna look so yeah, nice. Look, I actually like that sink too. Mm. I don't care about the color. I do. And that's the kind of faucet I want because I want it to be up and tall like that. Oh, because well, look. See? Oh, yeah. That is nice.
Oh, no, it doesn't have a good retraction. You have to push it back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't oh, retract I very well. Up, right? oh, I hope not. Oh, my goodness. The bottom one. Yep. Yeah, that toilet in there was hilarious. Oh, that has a TV. I like that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. be doing your hair in the morning and watching TV. That's awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Definitely uh, quite the amazing place. Look at that sink. Ooh, that yeah, gorgeous. Look at that one. That's neat. <laughs> the bear claws is what. The, yeah, look at that one with the feet. That's a bidet. No, that's not. Yeah, that's a bidet. That's a bidet. The spray is right there. Where? Right there. Have a seat, Bri. I'm going to send a picture to your mom of the bidet. We're thinking about getting this. What is that supposed to do? Oh, the water drips on there and then it comes down. That toilet in there was something. And when I sat down, it was all nice and toasty. I'm like, whoa. You, I want you to try it. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, this is that hand one, too. You just hover your hand over it. I didn't know it's not, but I'm trying. That one's pretty. I like this one because I like the design. Because it doesn't match anything else in our bathroom. So it matches the door. There's the doorknobs. Yeah, the other stuff, though. And Lowe's. I know that's smooth. Yeah. So this is definitely an option. You know, yeah. We got to go here. That's what we'll do. Because that's fine. That's big enough. Yeah. And he can extend that out. He said. Mm hmm If you buy the right stuff. But I, I'd really like to know how much that one is. Yeah. Right well, I that's thought we. I thought we were supposed to have help. Is, it? is that a bus stop? That's what I just said. Oh. Did you go? That's a lot of uh, showers in there. <clears throat> yeah. Slightly. Yeah, look at this one. We've got the squares up top. Mm -hmm. oh. And see, those are the seamless doors. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about. Oh, look at the temp thing in there. We can set the temp. Mm -hmm. Probably the steamer. Oh, one. right. <clears throat> Oh. Mm -hmm. That's the you know, that's what Stacy has. It goes both ways. Way. Ah, it goes both ways. Wow, see, there's the big one. Mm -hmm. Wow. I honestly can't believe we're going to have a shower like that. That's what's going to mm -hmm. I want to show you this one. I don't know if you saw it with the big chandelier over here. I want to take a picture of it because it's just so gorgeous. And I'd love to have that chandelier. See, that's neat too. It's like old. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that is neat. Oh, oh my cool. God. I love the tub. Yes. <clears throat> Gorgeous. Yeah, Brian got his new glasses, sunglasses. Turn this way, Brian. He really wants to see your glasses. He looks super nice and handsome. He didn't get the other ones because those weren't in yet, but we just got the sunglasses. So now we're going to go get some food. Are you hungry? Very hungry. Starving. Remember we had Red Robin at uh, Disneyland at like 1 o'clock in the morning? That was like the only place that was open. It was awful. Ugh. Okay.
glasses. I need my glasses. Oh, but yeah. I didn't really want them in there, but. But he wanted you to wear them out. Okay. There, he, it came with like a little case, too. Like double the case. It's like a huge case. So, finally getting stuff situated and organized in my kitchen. I hung up the chalkboard there, so that's where that's going to stay, and I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. We still have to get our switches, so I made a list to see how many switches um, that we needed to switch out, and um, we already put this, which that was already there, but I already put that back together. Um, I hung up this stuff in my dining room. That's the rest of the stuff for the kitchen and that chalkboard that I'm trying to get rid of. Um, still have to clean all this stuff up, which that was my um, banner stuff, so I need to get that put upstairs. Um, I got my pictures hung up on either side of my china cabinet. I put all that stuff back up there. Um, that thing I'm selling, but not that. That's my crock for my grandmother, which is going to go over there in the corner, but I have to sell this. So I'm going to, might just move that there for now. And um, it's so funny, the painters, I told them that they could have all of the um, covers for our switches and our light sockets, but in the kitchen only not in there and they took all the ones from in there but I guess that was my fault I guess I should have been a little bit more specific um, I got the red flowers at um, Hobby Lobby and I already put them in here but I did not like the corks in there so I filled up the corks and put them in this so um, that's where those are going to be for now um, I'm using my, you know, recipe book thing for that right there for now. And uh, we got to hide all the cords, so I got to tuck them up underneath there. So we got to get some to tuck. And like I said, I got to get all the covers for the light switches. And yeah, so we bought um, a shower head today too for the new shower. Um, that'll take about two weeks to come in. And uh, yeah, now we just kind of wait. Brian mowed the yard, and uh, we're all good to go. So that's it for this evening. I will check uh, back with you guys tomorrow, and I will see you then. Have a nice night, guys. Bye. Thank you.
kind of frustrating to think that that is what could have caused my UTI, and so do I continue to take that, plus take a cranberry pill every day to kind of like counteract that? Um, that way it keeps my urinary tract, you know, clean and clear from um, getting an UTI, or do I just discontinue taking that stuff and then go back to being sick again um, when I need? So I'm going to I'm excited to get the rest of the stuff done too. My tile and countertops. That's going to be so nice. Um, all right, guys. So I'm going to let you go. I'll check back in with you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Just checking in. Um, on my way to Lowe's right now, meeting Brian there. He is picking up his truck um, from the Chevy dealer. He got an oil change this morning. Um, and mind you, he dropped it off at 8 o'clock and it's 1030. Oh. It's taken forever, but we got a lot of stuff done at the house. Um, my curtains fell down by my back door like weeks ago, and we finally put those back up. Um, started putting some new uh, light fixtures, the flat switches, in the kitchen. Um, why is everybody stopping here? Because this is kind of dangerous to do. Craziness. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, we painted a spot behind a clock that the painters did not take down. Um, so we took that little clock down and painted behind that spot. Um, we flipped the switch to the fan in the family room because that was going backwards and we have to do it this way for the summertime. Let's see, what else? We went to the grocery store. I've got all of the rest of our groceries that we needed for tomorrow. And I think that's about it. Oh, I put more dishes in the dishwasher, started that up, been doing laundry, getting that stuff done, our blankets mainly, this morning. Um, yeah, so now we're on our way to Lowe's to um, pick out the rest of our tile for the bathroom and then get some more of the light switches that we need. So the light switches will, will all be done. And the covers, which those aren't anything pricey. So, um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I'm at the parking lot in Latin Lowe's and see these two girls walking around. They're in skirts and their hair is up in buns. Well, they're putting um, these on everybody's car because Sunday is Pentecost Sunday. Just a little information about me, guys. A little, you know, backstory on me. I was raised Pentecostal. Uh, yes, the long hair, no earrings, no makeup, skirt, Pentecostal. Um, however, my mom wasn't, like, strict with us. Like, we didn't have to wear skirts or whatever, but my mom did. My mom wore skirts, like, all the time and had long hair all the time and, um, and stuff. But, like, in 1992, she kind of, like, you know, my mom changed and, uh, she cut her hair, got her ears pierced, that type of thing. I mean, she still believes the same thing as the Pentecostals do, but, um... I don't, but whatever. I have my own beliefs, and um, I've learned a lot from the first time that I was ever in church. So I learned, you know, the differences between Pentecostal and like what the crazy stuff that they believe and the traditions and stuff that they believe compared to what I believe now. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to share that little backstory with you. I'm sitting at Lowe's waiting for my husband to show up, and he should be here soon. He was, like, right behind me, so I don't... Oh, there he comes. I see him now. All right. Check in with you later. So, we are going over to my neighbor's now. For the first day of three festivities... Here's my beach bag, or my pool bag. We 
bought our cones for the volleyball. This is what I'm wearing, bathing suit, cover up, shoes. I brought my tennis shoes to play volleyball because I don't play my flip flops or barefoot. Wow. Uh-oh, the doggies are attacking. Henley, go away. It's just, um, yeah, my boobies don't fit in it the right way. I have, like, way too much stuff hanging out. So, um, I'm returning it. And then I'm going to quickly uh, run in there and run right back out because I'm going to go to Target um, to get a few things that I need and maybe, hopefully, a new bathing suit top. Um, I have, like, a bikini, so I wear the bikinis or whatever, so I'm covered um, and I like little tikini skirts because then it kind of covers up my, I don't like, sh I don't know. I don't like bathing suit stuff. Does that make sense? I don't like the real cut up kind of bathing suits or the bathing suit 
the wear, I don't know. I'm trying to explain it so you guys can understand. Like, I don't like a bathing suit that makes you look like you're wearing underwear. Like, I don't like them that short up my leg. Um, I've got too much, uh, I got too much cellulites and stuff to, to be sharing with everybody. Not everybody wants to see all that stuff going on. So I decide, I prefer to wear a bikini skirt. And it's cute. I mean, it's tasteful. It's not like long, long, and it's just kind of just, it's like right there. It's perfect. And I'll, I'll show you guys later what I was talking about. So anyway, so I wear the bikini skirt like all the time and I have quite a few of them. Um, I have like a blue one, but that one's kind of a little short and it fits weird. So I need like a different type of top to go with it. It's hard to explain, but I'm very particular about my bathing suits nonetheless. Um, cause I'm very discreet about them. And another thing that I hate about bathing suits is, um, I have to have a bathing suit that like comes clear across here and then has the straps that go back. I don't like things that tie behind my neck and that one that I bought at Walmart ties behind my neck. And I was like, oh, I'm going to just going to try it because it's just so cute and it would look so cute with my skirt. But yeah, it just, it's just not going to work for me. It takes, it ties up too tight for me to hold up my girls. So, um, yeah, this, that's, that's out of the question can't do that. So the other thing is that I wear a black bra specific, specifically for my bathing suit tops <clears throat> because I don't like my girls just hanging down and I'm kind of top heavy. So I prefer to keep them, you know, corralled up nicely and not hanging and drooping down because <clears throat> I do play volleyball and I don't need those suckers, you know, bouncing all over the place and giving me a black eye. And besides that, it's just so uncomfortable when they're hanging. So I don't know. Do you guys have any like issues with that? Any heavy chested girls out there have any issues with your boobs and, you know, very specific, specific about how you wear your bathing suits and wearing a bra all the time. I mean, I wear a bra from the minute I get up in the morning until the minute I go to bed. <clears throat> I keep a bra on all the time. And um, I have to. It's just one of those things I have to do. And uh, if you're a heavy, heavy girl, then you know what I'm talking about. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. So after I get out of Walmart, then I'm going to go to Starbucks. Yay! and have my drink as I drive to Target because it's about probably 10 miles or so for me to go to Target. It's 8 miles from my house, so 8, 9, 10, 11, so it's about 11 miles from the point where I'm going to be over here. Uh, not that you guys care, but at least it'll give me plenty of time to drink my coffee and enjoy it. And Brian decided he didn't want to go with me this morning. He's going to, he's stayed home to, he's watering the yard and the flowers and plants and stuff. So um, today we have another busy day over at my neighbor's house. Today is the big party. So there's going to be a lot, a lot of people there. Probably people like that I don't even know, supposedly. Um, there's a, another couple that's coming that I, I think they're coming. There's, oh, there's quite a few people that are coming that I'm not too fond of, but you know, whatever. I'm always nice and pleasant. I usually try to either stay away from them <laughs> And did not communicate much. But anyway, um, anyway, so yeah, there's a couple coming that I, I just don't care for at all. So um, I am not, oh, wow, I'm so funny. I'm turning down Starbucks like I'm going to Starbucks right now. No, I'm not going to Starbucks right now. Oh, I might as well. There's like no line. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because who knows what it would have looked like after I got out of the Walmart. So I'm going to order my Starbucks and then I'll get back with you guys in a minute. 